20 years ago, a select group of Kentucky state court judges transformed their judicial system by becoming the first state to create the official record of the court by video recording every proceeding. As a result, Kentucky's taxpayers have saved hundreds of millions of dollars, while litigants have enjoyed nearly instant access to the court record. Transparent, accurate, and always on, Kentucky's video courts were way ahead of their time. As today's budget-challenged courts look for solutions, Kentucky's experience in proving justice while saving money is one video every court should view. With the Javs Ambassador web series, Kentucky's pioneering judges tell their story in their words, and what a remarkable story it is. This clip is titled, A Mouse Tinkling on Cotton. You will soon understand why, as Judge James Chenault tells us how video got started in Kentucky. I'm going to tell you how that started. Let's do it. Now, I'm going to truncate it, but I became judge in 1966. And at that time, they did offer me an office. I didn't have any stationery, any stamps, any pens, or whatever. I'd go to the banks and get the free pens. I'd get the... Uh, legal pads from the lawyers. The clerks always furnish stamps. At any rate, <clears throat> uh, I survived that. I, at that time, I had three counties, the largest uh, one-judge workload in Kentucky. And everything, when I got there, was about two years behind the uh, scheduling. Well, fast forward, I went to Reno in 1970. I thought, well, we'll really see the cutting edge of things out here. Wrong. They didn't have hardly any uh, technological advances that I was aware of. I was the chairman of the court section of the Crime Commission in the 70s, 70. And Henry Pennington, a circuit judge in Ball and Mercer County, came to me and said, why don't we work up some kind of program to see if we could utilize some kind of technology, which we don't have. And make a long story short, I have to be chairman of that, we got through a grant, and we got five counties in what we called the Model Court Project. And among other things, I, I have managed to go to the fiscal courts in Clark, Jessman, and Madison, get them each one chip in a little bit, where I had a part-time secretary. But with this grant, I got a full-time secretary, and we got other things like a mag typewriter, and uh, the most innovative thing there, we got an answering telephone answering machine, which we utilized for the juries to tell we put the message on there, and that saved itself time and time again the cost and the inconvenient juries coming, we didn't need them. Well, enough of that. Fast forward. I keep on with the tremendous workload, and I said, I can't run this court if it doesn't suit the court reporter. I can't start it until I've got a court reporter. I've got to always have to mess around the court reporter. So I go to the AOC, and I knew they were having trouble statewide with court reporters. And I said, I'd like to have a system an audio system, four channels. One would be for the witness, one for the plaintiff or prosecutor's table, one for the defendant, and one for the judge. And I'd want it, I'm not talking about a 2995 handheld GE recorder. I'm talking about a state of the art that would pick up a mouse tinkling on cotton <laughs> as we went along. And they thought, well, you know, we've had so much trouble. They stood by and said, well, I believe we'd do that. Then I thought, well, hell, I think I'll go for a big casino over here. I said, well, what I really want, I think that it's time that we use video in the proceedings. And I went, made the sales pitch there, and they agreed to it. So uh, we got it started. Jabs has been helping courts succeed for over 30 years with video court recording and court media management solutions that are easy to use while delivering lasting value. 
because the public record is sacred. When you go video, you go jabs.